Oh man, I I have such an awesome idea. The but I can't tell you until the intro plays. So here we go. Hajime! Welcome back to today's vlog. This is the vlog where we talk about pole vault, pole vault things, pole vault events, pole vault devices, po just whatever you can pole vault and then add at the end of it. That's what we talk about. So everything pole vault. Here we go. Bing. This week in pole vault news, again, not much is happening because nobody's pole vaulting. Except Jen Sure, who jumped five meters indoors in a basketball gym and took the world lead. O-M-G. Or did she jump 501? I apologize, she did not jump 5 meters, she jumped 5 to 1 because Sandy Morris jumped 5 meters and that would be tied for the world lead, but why would you want to tie someone for the world lead? You want the world lead! Gencher had a bad Olympics because she was super sick and she was- Screw that! I feel great now, so I'm gonna jump high now, and she does. That's it for pole vault news because like I said, no one else is jumping right now. They're all starting to train for next year, except Gencher, because she's a freak. Okay, there's two things, three, three things left of this vlog. I want to talk about first, I'm going to tell you a story, two, I'm gonna review a bunch of videos because I got a lot this week. And then we'll end it, okay? So bear with me. I just wanted to let you know the kind of progressions of things and I really just wanted to move my arms around a whole bunch so I could just watch them Why I never know what to do with my hands. If you guys remember Coach Rick, he was in a bunch of old videos. Show me go to a 15 foot pole. You watch a 15 foot pole, <laughs> yeah. There it was, it ate my lunch, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's 5'3", but his heart is like 10 feet tall and around. That makes no sense. He, he went right by the school bus, completely nude on his CR250, <laughs> popping a wheel, you know? Everybody's waving in the school bus driver. Coach Rick, he invited me to his house. He, he's like my family now. <laughs> Woo! From me just spending time with him um, in New Jersey and at his home, you've learned two very big things about him really fast. He has two loves. He loves his family, number one, and he loves pole vault. And that's really all you need to know about Coach Rick. His dad taught him how to pole vault. Remember how I said his family is number one, pole vault is number two? Well, combine those, and that's what he had with his dad. Every time I talk to him, he's like, I'm working this job I don't like, and I'd like to set up a new pole vault program or facility, but I just don't have time, and my job sucks all this energy away from my family and from pole vault, and it just sucks, and I, I don't know what to do. Now, when I was in New Jersey, I got to meet Coach Rick's dad and see their relationship and meet the man, the myth, the legend, who is all the great, amazing things about Coach Rick. He just had years of wisdom behind it. I was like done pole vaulting, physically and mentally tired, and Rick's like, you just gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, and his dad was just like, he's at the end, he just looks tired. He's coaching, he's coach. he's jumping very well for being on fumes. And uh, Rick's dad died this past summer. And it was really hard on Rick. And everyone who met him, it, it was hard on them too. It, it was hard on me. I just didn't know what to do because I'm kind of in the family, but I'm not really in the family. So I just, I kind of kept my distance to give him some, I don't know what to do in those situations. So long story short, I got this message He's like Sean I'm sick of it I'm sick of I'm sick of not doing what I want to do I'm, not, I'm sick of my job taking all this time for me and taking time for my family and I don't get to pole vault and I just love my family and I love pole vault so Kotrick started a pole vault club finally he not only created a pole vault club he created he used his um engineering degree and created the fastest pole vault runway on the market he calls it Rocket Man Rocket Man pole vault club and Rocket Man runways and for the exact reason is that his dad his, favorite song was Rocket Man by Elton John, which is really cool and kind of heartwarming. So the moral of this whole story is, is that they invited me to go to their grand opening of their event, but I, I can't make it. I'll be in Montana that week. But I want to promote it here because I love the Coach Rick, Rick's family. I love what he's doing and there's not a better person to be around. So if you're in the South Carolina area, I will put the I will put all the information 
in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But props to him for finally doing this. And he's doing it, and it's going to be awesome. So go check it out if you want to be a part of that. If you want to check out these runways, I'm excited to maybe test one out down the road. We'll see what happens, but yeah, let's review some videos. Shelly, let's take a look at it. Wow, oh, it's really good. I really like it. The only thing I would suggest is when you get to the top of the pole, I always preach right hand, right leg. If you go to your left leg, that's where everything gets kind of wonky and screwy up top. So if we watch it one more time, the right hand's kind of going across your body and then it tweaks you around and throws you off balance. Other than that, it looks awesome. Sweet, I like it. All right, let's do the next one. All right, this one's from Gavin. Let's... Wow, you're quick. Dude, that's a, holy crap, that's a really great jump. You guys are gonna get sick of me talking about this, but I'm, I'm so focused on the plant. So all I would re really suggest is, I know you're talking about being under, arms up nice and tall now i'm a i come from a biomechanics background so if we look at lines here see we're kind of leaning backwards a little bit if you do that then your hips are going to stay in front of your shoulders yep bam then now we're leaning back even more and then there's less swing because if this leg can swing from back here you're going to have more energy into the pole think about leaning forward just a little bit at takeoff now don't tell that to everybody you know certain athletes take some, some things some kids if you tell them to lean forward they're going to fall on their face but for gavin i would just say man just lean forward a little bit in front it's like you're going to superman take off almost it's going to feel really funky at first but i can Man, you're gonna be moving through pull. God, the rest of that looks so good. Yeah, just tweak that little thing and you're gonna be off and rolling again, man. All right, this one's from Nathaniel. Let's... Nice, dude. All right, I see one giant problem here. This guy, get out of my way, I'm trying to help. We'll just coach the rest of it. So good. Man, great. Right hand on the right side, starting to turn. And then right here, here's kinda, this happens to a lot of kids, it still happens to me. But when I can dial it in and fix it, everything looks great. So your legs are going up and your hands coming across your body now. So then there's this imbalance there. Versus if you kept that leg on your hand, you'd be able to put pressure straight through the pole versus pressure going this way and then going this way. Splitting, I, I always joke that, um, you want to be a bottle rocket staying within the same line of the pole instead of a firework. Fireworks are fun and they look cool, but it doesn't work in the pole vault. So if energy is going this way and that way, you're a firework instead of in the same plane, then you're a bottle rocket. It sounds weird, but try and be more of a bottle rocket instead of a firework. And the, and the way to do that is just staying tight to the pole, turning a little bit more, a little sooner, even that right hand really close to that right side of your body but man you're speedy and this looks so good i love it so i gotta watch it one more time oh that's so good man so again i'm sorry i can't see your plant but give that a try it looked really good and let me know how it goes all right we got one more here nice now it's hard to slow down because i don't have it on the computer it's just on instagram here oh, doesn't work so it looks really good but i always think like there's two forms of energy you have your legs creating energy in your arms and right here it's so good you're putting a lot of energy into it but it's just a lot with your legs so just imagine if you can throw your arms a little bit harder and then instead of having one go fast and then the other kind of staying back you have this like clam motion where your legs and your arms come together and create a ton of energy. Two arms are better than one, right? But two halves of your body are better than just one as well. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna have a fun year, man. <laughs> Everyone who sent reviews, thanks. Those are really fun. And uh, if you want your video reviewed, send it to sean.francis19 at gmail.com. Or if you want me to do a crummy version of reviewing it, uh, put it on Instagram and hashtag hoot help. So the super big secret news, that's not really secret, but a cool idea I had was this camera broke and I haven't been able to use it for 10 days and it forced me to use my phone. Now, everybody I know has a phone in their pocket. I don't know a lot of people unless you're over the age of like 65 or... I hate technology. Let's go back to rocks and stones. What if you guys... Since training's just about to start, 
just do a weekly vlog. Post it onto YouTube, and if you guys start doing a training vlog, like I did for the last four years, I will promote it here. Because I'm not doing as much of the pole vault training stuff anymore. And the coolest part about that was it built this community. There was other people training, and there's like, man, there's this guy competing at an elite level who's doing the exact same stuff I'm doing, and it's just my first year pole vaulting, which is, the way it is for real like I'm still I was always trying to fix my plant and if you talk to any elite vaulter they're doing the same thing so I'm gonna put it out there if you guys start making a vlog about pole vault training about pole vault in general let me know and I will promote it the best I can because I want to help you that's about it for this week if you guys want some training go to team-hoop.com there's training there if you guys don't want training don't go there <laughs> Or go there anyways, check it out. I've been making a bunch of videos on mindfulness and meditation, and those will be done soon too. They've been really fun. Next week I'll be in Montana. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Sean Danger Hoot, because Danger's my middle name. You. If you found these are helpful, please leave a like. Subscribe, as always, they help me out, and they continue to help me make videos. If you guys have questions, I will answer all the questions I get from the previous week's vlog in the next week's vlog. But I didn't get any questions last week, so there was no answers to any questions. Just ask me questions, and I'll answer them next week. All right, life's meant to be experienced, and curiosity will get you there. See you tomorrow. What's your favorite invertebrate? <laughs> I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Nobody does. What does that even mean? It's a vertebrate. Invertebrate. It's an animal or species without a vertebrate, so without a spine. Uh, Meet examples. Would it be like a dolphin? Dolphins, dolphins have spines. They do? <laughs> What's... <laughs> <laughs>